Hi, so this is how to turn a battery operated Halloween prop into one that you can control using a remote control. So what you need is a Halloween prop that has the try me button. Okay, this is battery operated and it is noise activate. You can use one with motion activate as well, as long as it has the try me button. Okay, so next you would need a DC 12 volt switchboard with remote control. So I got this one is a four channel Insma of um, Amazon for $16. You can get it on Bang Goods for like $6 or so, but I just don't like to wait. So it comes with two remote control and a bore and a little kind of uh, little box to protect this. Next thing you need to power this. Um, uh, this bore you can either use a 12 volt battery packs it's basically this one use 8 double A battery just attach 8 of them two sides okay then use a battery connector attach it in here and connect it to the board to power it what i found out you can also use a 9 volt to power this board maybe there's some limitation to it that i'm not aware of i'm a beginner so i don't know if you know which which is which one is better please uh let me know okay so let's get started. First thing we need to uh, sorry. we need to power this bore. Again, you can either use the 12 volt battery pack or use a 9 volt battery. So I use a 9 volt just to keep it simple. And you need the battery connector. Attach the big one, big size to the small size the small size to the big size on the battery the small size on the battery is positive and when I look inside the connector I see that the red wire is connected to this size so it is positive okay the red wire is the positive it will go into the positive size of the bore. Again, this right here, these two little thing on the bore, you see positive and negative. This is to power the bore. This is, uh, this size is four, it's the four channels on this size. A, B, C, D. Correspond to the four buttons on the remote control. So again, to power this bore using the battery, the red side is positive, go in the positive side on the bore. Okay, just screw it down. Okay, the red wire is negative, go to negative side. Oh, this thing pop out. Hmm, I did not do well. Okay. Okay, it's good. See the lights on, meaning it's having power now. Okay. Next, we're gonna connect the Halloween prop to the board. Again, this prop has a try me button. 
when it comes in a package, it's like this. The button is out here. You press the button. Go on. It works. Sneak a peek. You press again, it's off. So you need something like a, a prop that has the try me button. This try me button is connected to the prop using a little connector like this. Okay, so we can just basically cut the wire. Okay. Uh, I have one that is from another prop. So this is a, it's basically the same thing. Same connector. Just to keep it simple, I can just unplug this. Put the, the plug from this into the little hole right here. Okay. When you receive something like this, you just basically cut the button. And you will have something like this. Okay. These two wire, if you notice, you touch the two together. I'm beautiful. It's okay. Touch it again. It's off. Basically, when you touch it, it's just basically like pressing the button. Press it again, it's like touching it again. So, I mean, I just keep it so simple because I don't understand how uh, things work. Alright, um, we need to connect this Try Me button to one of the four channels on the board. So, I'm going to connect to A. Oh, it doesn't matter what, which one go to A or B. Because it doesn't matter as long as when you press the button, A will then connect to B. It's like touching this. So it doesn't matter what side and which wire go to to uh, to A or B so I'm gonna connect it to A I don't use C though I don't know what C is okay that's A look at this this wire is very thin so gotta be careful with them don't break it. Now this to be okay. So now I have the try me button wire connect to one is A, one is B on channel A. The battery power the bore. Okay, now it's ready. If I press. A. Go on. It works. Sneak a peek. It won't hurt. Press Go it. along. <laughs> Press again. It's off. Okay, let's try it again. I'm beautiful. It's okay to stare. Okay, one thing I did notice and don't know how that works is that I have to press the button twice to activate and press the same button twice to turn it off. Um, I haven't figured out how to program this thing, but uh, from the um, uh, Amazon uh, item description, this board has a button called like learn button. So look like you press the button, you and then using the remote control somehow you can change the type of this channels i think one is momentary one is latch i don't know what these are maybe if somebody knows how this whole thing works please uh, let me know that would help a lot so right now i just have to live with two times if you look into my eyes two times Turn it off. That's it. Um, you notice that this try me button uh, wire is pretty short. 
Uh, so what I did is I bought something like this off Amazon uh, is uh, 24 AWG wire with two wire okay 200 feet or something for like $20 or so can't remember I can put the link in the in the description um, here's another prop like the light uh, from uh, right 8 as well so this has a try me button on the side. You have to open the screw to get to the try me button. It has on demo and light option. I keep it in the middle as demo so that my try me button works. Okay. After I open it, I see that the try me button is located right here. I cut it. I just basically cut the wire and leave this alone. Okay. The wire that I cut, which is the try me button, is the two blue wires right here. So I connect it to my 24 AWG wire I bought from Amazon. And I run it out like this. So now basically this is the wire. It's pretty long. I'm planning to play this far away from the bore. So this is the two wire. If I touched it together, it activate. Okay, you touch it again, it's off. So I can what I can do is I can put this connect this uh, wire to channel B. Okay. Again it doesn't matter which wire go to to A or B. You see some bare wire exposed and I touch it. It doesn't cause any harm because this is very low voltage. It's like batteries. It's all battery. There's no power connected to power outlet anywhere. So it's, I think it's pretty safe. So I connect it to uh, channel B. Now I can press the B button. Press it again. Oh. See? The first time doesn't doesn't work. Second time work. Press it again doesn't work. Press it the second time. It's off. So again I am a real beginner. I never deal with electric before and this is the first time, first project for me because I bought so many props this year and they are batteries operated and they all noise activated and it doesn't work as I like. So this is one simple solution. My plans for this is I will be using a bunch of uh, this wire and then connect to a bunch of props and place it at different uh, location in the um, driveway when people walk inside I will be standing on the on upstairs and then just activate you know the props as they walk in um, you can connect four different uh, channels in here one thing I haven't tried is connect two props 
into one channel. So if I, let's say if I connect the light and the prop into A, so two, two wire will go into A, two wire will go to B. If I press A, will it activate both of them? Or is just not enough power? I don't know. Uh, maybe I will try that and uh, you guys can try that too. Okay. I hope you find it uh, useful. And this is for, again, this is for beginner. Thank you.